Good morning, everyone. Sorry we haven't done a lot of filming in the last few weeks. It's just been a bit mundane, it's just mucking out the cows, feeding cows, feeding the sheep in the fields, collecting eggs. Just, <coughs> no, hello. Normal winter stuff. We are due to start lambing this Friday, which is the 26th of March. Today is Monday. We've spent all last week getting the lambing shed ready, cleaned, disinfected, bedded up. We're going to bring the ewes in. We could be lambing a little bit earlier than we anticipated. So in the shed here, so the sheep are in here at night. So they have nice clean beds. Then we have down this end, we have some lambing pens that are all ready. They have a feed block at all times. Lots of fresh hay, lots of water. And then they come into here, have their breakfast. We shut the gate behind them. We can then work in here. We can deal with any new lambs. We can bed up, we can muck out. We can do whatever we need without a hundred ewes butting me for a, for a tasty treat that they think is in my pocket and it's not. These eight are in because they're older ewes. Uh, they were at risk of twin lamb disease, so their nutritional needs f from the grass weren't meeting the nutritional needs of the lambs inside them. So they have a bit of extra food. They've been in for 10 days, but today when we bring the main flock in, these guys will join the main flock and then everyone's in, everyone's together. Now you will notice there's a couple in here that aren't in lamb. They look a bit old, look a bit skinny, and got a yellow dot on them. There's one of them. Basically, she's an old girl. She wasn't going to survive out without any food or any hay, so we left her with the ewes. Tank. The tank is one of last year's bottle raised lambs. He's so, so tame, but he knew the ewes get fed every day. So we don't know how he's done it, but he's got out of the lamb flock and he's got in with the ewe flock because he likes a feed. So we've got a couple in prolapse harnesses because they kept prolapsing. I've just noticed, or Jen's just noticed that her water bag is out. The instructions say you can lamb through these harnesses. Personally, I don't do it. I let her lamb without it. There you go, so you can see the starts of lambing. The water bags come out. So we're gonna leave her in this space. She can't be interfered with by the other sheep. We've got a notorious lamb thief in here. So one of these ewes, I'll point her out at some point. If someone lambs before her, she'll try and steal the lambs off them. She'll lick them and she'll entice them away. There's space around her, so if I need to intervene and get on the floor with her, I've got space to safely work. Here she goes, she's start looking for somewhere to nest. So, fingers crossed, we'll set some cameras up and try and catch that. This is another set of twins born last night. Mum's quite elderly, quite frail. She hasn't got great milk. They are very keen to feed. She's letting them feed, but there's just nothing there. So we're gonna top them up with milk. As you can see, they're keen to feed, but there's just no milk there. What I'm gonna try and do, as you can see, normally with a ewe now, you have little squirts of milk coming out. But there's nothing there. Night, right, Mama. Chime by Orbital is at number 17. And a non at 16 years Honda in the film The Wild Angels. We're going to do. Oh, wait, baby, let's go. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. Matt, 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 Matt,
that. So you've seen there when we're moving the, the lambs and the ewe into the bonding pens, I held the lambs by the front legs. There's several reasons for that. Mum can clearly see them and smell them and she'll follow them nice and easily. Also, I'm not damaging or touching that umbilical cord, which is very, very fresh, it's like a fresh wound. So I'm not touching that, I'm not rubbing against it. They don't wriggle, they don't squirm. If you were to carry them like a baby, like this, Mum wouldn't be able to see them very clearly. And you rub all your smell onto them as well, so it masks their smell, so Mum may not recognise them. 